Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. Hey, yo, you thought he was gone, but he's not. You he tried to kick forth. me out, but my car wouldn't start. <laughs> so, so, Mr. X is back one more time. I'm back. Mr. X. Never doubt the power of the X Factor. Okay. That's right. I got a question for y'all. Yeah. What do you got? I'm mean, sorry. Oh. Let's crack into another there one. There we go. Gotta get that right. question. Yeah. People who don't reply to texts until days later. Okay, you mother. Why? <laughs> this is a direct attack. What do you want from me? I hate everyone, I, okay? I feel like I should be referee here. What's going on here? What's going on? There, there's there's subtext it here says, we're not getting. There was a comment on I haven't talked to my mom in three months. <laughs> So I love you, but fuck that shit. So that was the question on Ask Reddit, and one of the one of the responses was like, "It's a relatively new phenomenon that basically anyone in your life get access to at all times. It was only twenty years ago that if you left the house the the day you were actually gone, yep. you'd return you'd return messages when you came back hours or even days later. Yep, it's true. So the the I think. It's the um, entitlement that if someone <laughs> that if someone messages you, they expect you to be readily available and return their message immediately, and do not take into account how much social battery you have, uh, what you're doing, anything like that. And and the in the common the common thing is like it only takes a second to reply. For, first of all, that's uh, it's first of all face. it's generational because our age. Group. Do you, don't put me in with you. You're right? old. You, old, you gray haired old motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. I'm going to start doing face cam pretty soon. So it's cool. They're going to see. Because I'm not using my, my uh, just for men. It's not happening. It's not happening. I'm going to be me. My point is, it's it, like like when we, we grew up before cell phones, when that was true, when what you just said was true, yeah, yeah, where yeah. you left the house. People, you had an answering machine. You checked it when you got home, and you married, if you if you could call them back, you call them back, and they weren't home, right? And that answering was it. Answering machine. Yeah, right. So yeah. you hear the words he just used. Yeah, like that old school. That explain that, to the listeners what an answering machine, it was a machine is. Machine you had a landline. It was your voicemail on a device at your house. Yeah, you had to buy the phone. device and hook it up to your home phone. And your someone would leave a message like they do now on your cell phone. And then when you got home, you'd be like, oh, shit, it's 11. I can't call them till tomorrow. When yeah. was the last time any of you have ever used voicemail? Oh, I used to use I it all the time. I, I, I used it, it today. I, hate I left a message today. I, I left a message to somebody today. I despise well, you Well, okay, so, so, so here. So I feel like people around it, we don't expect that. I don't expect expect that of text like i'll send you a text if you don't i'm not offended if you don't respond to me because you're like oh you were busy yeah now after about 24 hours if i've asked you a question if you have if i've asked you a question and i consider you a friend i do consider it a little bit like well fuck you (laughs) like if you can't you can't respond now i do understand if you missed a text like you don't owe me anything i and i'm old enough to say no you don't owe me anything tnt I think probably agrees with that, but he he left he's the room. He's like buried his face in yeah, the no, couch. No, he's done. So. I'm, he's done. I'm, I'm listening. You're I'm listening to everybody. Bro, let's go. Just, let's go. All yeah. right, fuck you guys. All right, here we go. <laughs> Listen. Listen. All right, you make a valid point when you say is that we grew up in a, a cohort that doesn't necessarily, that we did not have cell phones when we were children, right? It was like, okay, I, I hate the whole reminiscing idea and I don't like to age myself, but yes, I came up in a time where if my friend, I knocked on his door and he wasn't there, I didn't know where he was. I had a friend one time at at one point, he went to summer camp, didn't tell me about it. And I was just alone for the entire summer. And it was just like, Hey, yo, where'd you go? There was no cell phones. There was no way to contact him. Do you have some, do you have some sad music you can put on? It's not, <laughs> I'm not looking for sympathy. Oh, sorry. I'm just saying is that that is the reality that I grew up in. So when the cell phone, the smartphone came along, and then people are, they feel like they should have this 100% access to you. I do feel like that is a bit much. I feel like it's a bit, you're asking a lot from me. 
I feel like I, I would be asking a lot from you if I was like every time that I sent you some text message that you were entitled or that I was entitled to a response immediately. I don't feel like if I call you, I should be entitled to a response immediately, nor should I be, uh, should I be beholden to the fact that I need to respond immediately. It's too much. It's too much access to me. I'm not a celebrity. I'm just, I'm just trying to live my fucking life and I don't want to have to necessarily answer to people. Let me, let me let you collect your thoughts for a second. Go ahead, go ahead because I, I want to get into something else. I agree. I, I agree with what you're saying. I also think there's there there's different levels of people in my life, people that I that I I want to give that access to, mm -hmm. that to have better access to me, mm -hmm. and there's people who I'm like, no, you don't get that access because you're not on that level. Now there are a lot of people in the world that don't really understand where they sit with people, and so they expect this they expect this full access to you. And I'm like, Some no, people I'm are not. entitled. They think everyone, yeah, should like I should get everyone. Five that. Minutes. And and yeah. you know what? Those people don't last in my life very long. Now, bullshit. Because if you had a girlfriend, you would feel the same way. Well, that's if I had a girlfriend, that'd be someone I'd put on that tier one list, right? Is like that gets so the access. If you were, to I've had a wife, and I know what that was, and that was that's amen, a different level. Amen to and that. there were times where I didn't respond to those texts either. <laughs> I'm like, and I don't. <laughs> that's I, why you're not married. And now. I don't. I don't have a wife now. Is you do the math. Okay, you so do this is my point, man. I'm not saying is that we should have this this like divide between people because of. Technology is beautiful. Which is because TNT is usually an early adopter of technology and like in on technology, but this he's he's not in I'm, on this I'm part of society. I, I love technology, but I think that we it's are the too, access piece. I think we are too connected. I think the ideal of these echo chambers who who spout hate is too connected. Agree. Hundred percent agree. These echo chambers that spout too much fucking acceptance are too connected. Agree. Agreed. So I, I, I do have some pushback against you that. should. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I've kind of always said that, I mean, the internet is like one of the greatest, but also one of the worst things that ever happened to humankind 100%. because the, the expectation 100%. of instant communication and like it was, it's, it, I, I'm, I'm a big texter. Like I, I try to, I don't even try I just do you most of the time respond to people pretty quickly, but I get why people don't. And there's sometimes I like don't want to mess with my phone. I keep the ringer on my phone off all the time. Mine's never on. Jonas has been texting on his phone this entire night. I have not texted hardly at all. Okay, I'm a liar. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to call you out on it. Yeah, no, I've had my phone were. in my hand, but I haven't. Like, I, I mean, I've sent some text messages. We are cyborgs. You are a cyborg. Huh? You are connected to your phone and might as well be implanted into your arm. No, I wouldn't want it. No, I all right, so I just got back from a two week trip mm. with my with my kid up into the back country of Colorado. Fair enough. I had my phone with me. Yeah. I texted a few people who were my close friends. What you need to do. Damn, mm. Mr. X, I didn't get a text from you shit, bro. Like Aww. I said, I texted a few people <laughs> who were my close friends. <laughs> <laughs> I texted my tier ones. Absolutely. You know, God damn it. And not even all of them got. Uh, look, not perfect, even all my tier hey, ones look, did I'm I I'm perfectly comfortable being tier four. No, because, I only because, because, <laughs> because, oh, because, yeah. because I didn't get a text from Jonas either in that two weeks. So Woo! I'm just saying. God damn, Mr. X. But drop that's a, microphone. That's a fire. But no, I mean, but there was no, a lot of times I was in places absolutely. where I was in places where I had no signal. No, exactly. I was disconnected and it was great. Like I didn't, I wouldn't look at my phone. I wasn't worried about it. It was great. It was a nice detox. So it's the fact that we enjoy that disconnection period where we look at that as an, uh, an amenity. That's a well, cohort thing. You, you know what I realized actually last week? I, I started talking to somebody about like the hobbies that I have. And I play a lot of sand volleyball. So like I go out and do – I do that. I go to the – and like and they, somebody asked me like why do you go see so many movies? And like well, I have a movie pass. I go but also – it's time that I'm forced not to be on my phone. But then I realized all the things I do are things that get me away from my phone. Oh, hell like yeah. Going to the movies, playing. When I go play sand volleyball, my, my phone goes in my bag and I don't yep. touch it for four hours, like yep. at all. That is the most dystopian ass take I've ever heard in my goddamn Why? Life. Because you're basically saying is that I do other activities to keep me away from because my phone. Because if I'm home man. doing nothing, well, I, hey, I sit on my by phone. By nature, they than, take you away from your phone. That's, and that's, that, that's not why you're doing them. But it, by nature, but by that's nature, why you the like them because you're doing if something. If you were not doing that, you so, know you would be beholden. Well, because to when this. I'm home doing nothing, I won't. I'm not watching anything. I'm 
screwing around on my phone. Right. I know, so, but I'm just saying is that that just speaks to the fact is that we are kind of like s- slaves to a certain extent to oh, that there's device. some people they I mean like they can't I mean we've all went on a date with someone who they can't even not be on their phone for a date. Oh my yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah we've I, all been on a date and it was the last date. That, that would be well, yeah, that would hundred percent be the last date. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, but like. But we've all been there. There's people that literally cannot put their goddamn phone down. Yeah, and that's down, a, no that's a sickness, what. and I want I got no part of. It. All right, so my my kids, one of my kids is in middle school, and that middle school this year just announced that they have they are banning personal devices during the school day. Good. Have to turn them off. Can't get them out. You may not have them, and in the and it says in the thing they sent out it says we're doing this so that the students can talk to each other. That's a big fact. It's, it's and that's a big deal yeah. because I've seen like we're we're like five, six, seven years ago, schools were like, oh, we're embracing technology and blah blah blah, and they're like, nope, that was a bad dick. We're gonna we're gonna they, yeah, they we're still, reversing they talk course. To who they want to and don't talk to the people who are sitting right next. Well, to yeah, them. and then they bully the shit out of each other. Like it's bad. Like like yeah, the whole thing is yeah. bad. Like one of one of my kids' little friends did like ha- accidentally did something in a performance, like fell. And some other dipshit kid was was recording it. Immediately got that shit on YouTube, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. a, like fail. It was a fail, ha ha. And and like so, this poor kid wow. had an like accident and hurt themselves. One of this happened. Could you imagine? Yeah, like, if when we were children, oh, no, a mistake that we made were plastered on the internet. And everyone so that, at your school is commenting and making fun of you on it. Yeah, like, and, and so you sharing get bullied it. at school. You get bullied at home on the internet. Yeah, like, that's oh, the fuck. And up. now you can do all of that on a single device and you can get that uploaded in like 10 minutes. It's and no neither issue. of my kids have a smartphone yet. See, like, and, and they hate it, but I'm like, no, you don't. Like, I, And I, I would like to get them one, except I know what, what, what troubles yeah. await them. And I'm like, like I'm, I'm 100% a proponent for technology, but I will say is that the connectivity that people, the access to these echo chambers, just the the all around expectation for people to be beholden to the 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 schedule that you set for for them is too fucking much. It's too much. Agree. I agree with that. So uh, I don't know what can fix it necessarily, but I I personally I opt out sometimes. I'm not gonna text you back. Well, yeah. Ms. Mr. X's phone. tip for life, make a list of the people you want on your tier one that you give that access to and don't give anyone else that access. Final, That's thought, amen final that. thought for Jonas, don't let nobody shame you into texting them back. You yeah. do you. And if you want to text them back in five minutes, she talks them back. You want to text them back in five days, text them back. You don't want to text them back at all, don't text them back. You do what you want to do because it's your life. Follow up comment. If you're one of those people that gets offended by that, you need to do some soul searching and figure out why you're so you're so uptight on that. Amen, Mister. Let them go. Next time I haven't heard from you in a week, I'm like, where are you at? Why are you mad at me? I'm gonna start being, Mister X. Are you mad at me? I haven't heard from you. In two weeks. <laughs> I thought we had something special. Yeah, I thought we had something special. And that's how Jonas got blocked. Yeah, that, that's, that's how Jonas drops to tier five. That's Aww. right. Ooh, below me. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have today. Something go to the crazynet.com for Jonas. TNT and, and Mr. X. We up, we up, we up. You did it three times. I did it.